Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is May 5th, 2019. And I want to share with you today two details that were sent to me by friends. And I want to share uh, one comment that I made on a video by Brother Sandy Armstrong from the Soldiers for Christ Community Church. And uh, a comment I made about one major detail that is being overlooked. So, first of all, I want to share uh, what was sent to me by Sharon through an email. And uh, she says, Hi Steve, hope you are well, really enjoying your videos. Not sure if you've seen this, but I found it very exciting. From May 14, 1948, to May 22nd, 2019, Israel will be 71 years and eight days. 718 in Strong's means to join oneself in marriage. God bless you and your family, Sharon. Laugh out loud. Maybe that was a coincidence she is seeing or just a reason to chuckle but very interesting detail if we look at uh, the time from February from uh, from May 14th 1948 when Israel was born going to the end of their 70th year which when they turned 71 and then adding eight days to that brings us to May 22nd 2019 71 years eight days and in the Strong's, 718 means harmoso, harmoso, to fit, join, hence, to join oneself in marriage. I fit, join, and I espouse, betroth, I take a wife, give in marriage. 718, 71 years, and eight days. The second thing I want to share with you is was also sent to me by email by Brother Frank Cock. And Brother Frank shares with me, says, I want to remind you that in that in your list you have forgotten an important fact. Announced in advance and was exactly in time. A foreshadow for what will happen just a year later, winter storm Noah has begun on 217. Going to the link he sent to me, which was a video I did last year on February 17th, winter storm Noah has begun on 217. Remember last year in, in uh, 2018, exactly on February 17th, which was 217, Winter storm Noah hit. So, first of all, this was a one-year warning. <clears throat> Second of all, it's a it's a one-year warning not to the Gregorian calendar, but to the Hebrew calendar. Just as it says in the book of Genesis on the seventeenth day of the second month. So, this was not something from years and years ago. This was just one year ago exactly on February 17th, Winter Storm Noah. So what Frank wanted me to see and to remind everyone, and uh, you know, that I had not mentioned this, I had overlooked this, especially now that I'm watching the, uh, the 70th year of Israel, as, uh, <clears throat> as the 70th year ends exactly on the timeline of Noah when the ark was closed, and then seven, seven days later, bringing us to May 21st and 22nd, the 17th day of the second month. So what Frank wanted me to remind everybody is that one year ago, we had Winter Storm Noah exactly on 217. So this is what we are watching. Now the third thing I wanted to share with you is what I shared with Pastor Sandy. And I'm in no way, uh, you know, criticizing him or uh, or making fun of him, I'm just wanting him to see 
and just for his followers to see that um, there is one detail that is being overlooked because he is looking definitely at May 14th as the as the end. There's really no way it can go past May 14th, and I, I just wanted to bring him uh, to his attention what I'm sharing in this comment. And he did receive this comment. He he heard he heard me and responded. So uh, you know, it's just a matter of you know where we are and what is going to be happening. Anyway, what I shared with him is, Pastor Sandy, you are missing a key detail. May 14th is the day the ark closed, IR 10, the 10th day of the second month. So if everything is as in the days of Noah, where is the seven day warning? If we are coming to May 14th, where, where do we get a seven day warning? It says, as in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So we should expect a seven day warning just as there was in the days of Noah. The flood begins on IR 17, which is on uh, the 2019 Hebrew calendar is May 21st and 22nd. The fig tree brings us to the days of Noah. Is it all true or just a part? So what I'm trying to share with him is that it not only says in Matthew that the fig tree generation will will uh, will not pass until all these things have happened but just as it says as uh, you know according to the fig tree it also says as in the days of Noah so it's together we have two prophecies and two clues two two events leading us to timing that Jesus mentions one is the fig tree generation the other is as in the days of Noah how can we look at just one and overlook the other? We can't just say it's the fig tree generation because Jesus gave us the fig tree generation, but he also gave us the clue which says, as in the days of Noah. Now let's look at what it says in Matthew chapter 24, and we'll see how together this is. This thought is, is, is tied together within the same thought process, within the same passage. Okay, so Matthew 24, starting in verse three, 33, it says, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is, it is near even at the doors. This is talking about the fig tree generation. And it, it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So we have a fig tree generation. We, we see that the fig tree generation ends at the end of the 70th year, when Israel turns 71, their 71st birthday is May 14th, 2019. The fig tree generation comes to a close. This is no coincidence that within Matthew, the fig tree generation takes us to the days of Noah. And that's why May 14th, 2019, is the 10th day of the second month on the Hebrew calendar, IR 10. It's the day the ark closed. Seven days before the flood began on the 17th day of the second month. So the fig tree generation ties us together with the days of Noah and it gives us our seven day warning to the beginning of the flood. Okay, and this is what I wanted to share with Pastor Sandy. And this is what I wanted to share with his followers and with everybody, the world at large, okay? Because we are upon the end of the fig tree generation and there are specific details that the Lord has given to us 
that can help us understand what to be expecting. Okay, so May 14th is the day the ark closed. I would not expect rapture to happen on this day because this is not the day the flood began. This is the day the ark closed. So I would expect that the ark will be sealed, that this will be the closing of the ark, that everybody should be ready to get in the ark and be in the ark by May 14th, but that the rapture and the start of the Great Tribulation will happen seven days later. The tenth day of the second month is just as it says in Genesis 7, for yet seven days. I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, so there was a seven day warning from the 10th day of the second month. Goes on to say about the 17th day of the second month that this is the day that the flood began. Genesis 7, 10 and 11. It came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. So we have two prophecies that come together. We have the parable of the fig tree. And we have, as in the days of Noah, you cannot have one without the other and either all the prophecy is true or none of it is true. So we have to look at all the clues. All the prophecy will be fulfilled, not just part of the prophecy. The fig tree generation as in the days of Noah. Pray you're blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.